Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now it spanned all nine provinces of South Africa and was based on information supplied by some 3,000 musicians plying their trade in different genres, communities and geographical and social settings. That's the Music in Africa Foundation's revenue streams for music creators in South Africa report. The report's aim was to identify the revenue streams that are viable for musicians in the South African music industry. Now to tell us more we're joined on Zoom by the Music in Africa Foundation Director, Eddie Hatikia. Good morning, Eddie. Welcome to Morning Live. I mean, first of all, let's start with what is the inspiration behind the report? Why did the foundation uh, commission a report of this nature? Yes, good morning. Um, and thanks for having me today. Um, yes, it's really important um, globally, I think, uh, in any industry that we need, um, you know, um, important information, statistics. Um, we need to be able to make informed decisions as an industry. And unfortunately, this is what we don't have in a lot of African markets. Um, and, and we know that the South African music market, for example, is largely informal. And, and we know that artists um, are struggling um, to make those decisions. So it was important for us to provide this important information, tools, um, yeah, we want them to maximize their revenues. Mm -hmm. What are some of the key findings that came out of this report? Well, um, the, the key findings is that we, 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 we identified up to 47 revenue streams that, we, uh, that seem to be viable for, for uh, music creators in, in this country. And why that is important is, 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 is is that it, it, it gives those who are applying their trades in, in, this, in this field to know uh, where to prioritize, how to uh, you know, uh, make uh, the decisions that will help them to um, be more sustainable. Um, so uh, what, what you see when you open this very easy to understand report is we have grouped these um, you know, uh, 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 revenue streams into five broad categories. Um, which are live performance um, revenue. Um, that's the first category, actually the strongest one, uh, followed by the services uh, revenue category, um, and then grants and funding, um, brand related revenue, and music rights revenue. So what I think is more important here is not just these names, but actually getting into the you know, the finer details in each category and really starting to understand where the money is coming from. And it's not just about, um, you know, looking at these broader things. We're also going into telling musicians where the money is coming from. Yeah. Is it coming from its end? Is it coming from how thing? Um, you know, which, which periods of the year can you try to make, you know, um, a lot of money from this particular, uh, you know, trade and this kind of thing. So it's quite a, a detailed report. And, and I think you really have to get into it to, 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 to see the, 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 the great things that can help you as, as a music creator. Mm -hmm. And in that report, what are some of the most profitable revenue streams being used in South Africa? Uh, by far, um, live performance revenues um, were the strongest, um, followed by, um, and, and maybe just to, to elaborate here, in live performance, we're looking at you know, the monies that uh, music creators generate when they have made a, a live performance. Mm. So in there, we have four subcategories, um, 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 including, you know, the, the, the fees, uh, the, 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 the monies that they get from the sales of drinks that, and, and, and the likes. And then we go to the next strongest one, which was services revenues. And we see that a lot of creators in South Africa um, are starting to, really diversify their works and you know in, engaging things like you know um appearing on t on television um teaching um you know um mentoring and, and 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 finding ways to to generate income from things that i think um, um, um sometimes w w creators don't really think that can make money for them but it's really important for creators to see this um their create their careers as, as a as, as a business um, surprisingly for us, um, grants and, and funding revenue um, appear to be quite a strong um, income generator for most music creators, and, and, and which tells us that creators are not only making music, they're also looking at, um, you know, going out there and applying for, for, for funding, not only in South Africa, but across Africa and, 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 and Europe. 
And this is really important for media creators to really see um, you know, all the opportunities that they can exploit. Music rights revenue, which is um, essentially referring to the, to the revenues that creators generate from you know, their royalties um, and, and, and the exploitation of their music rights, um, was surprisingly not as strong as we would have imagined. And, and, and I think there are a lot of challenges there and, and I think uh, that have to, to be addressed, which is also one of the key reasons why we commissioned this report to understand those areas that we need to work together to 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 make a, you know a positive uh, difference. Mm -hmm. And what are the vast differences that you found um, uh, going through the different provinces uh, conducting the study? Well, the, 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 one of the key things is that you don't have to be in Gauteng only to make um, 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 significant monies, um, and that was um, something that was quite strong because KZN. Um, um, the the the, the, uh, uh, the the participants who were coming from that um, province um, showed that they had the highest income compared to those, for example, in Gauteng, which we have always thought and has understood to be a very uh, strong, um, um, you know, um, part of our industry. Mm. So. Technology is making things possible. It doesn't necessarily mean the money is coming from KZN, but it means that with technology, you can still apply your trade in that, in that, in that area um, and have income coming from you know, many parts of the country, uh, which is important for, for musicians to know and, and to, 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 to consider when they, they, they are planning for, for, for their um, careers. Mm -hmm. Now, do musicians have access to the study so they also know what they are dealing with? The, 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 the study is available, the, the report is available free of charge mm -hmm. on our website, uh, musicinafrica.net uh, forward slash RSFM. And, 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 and that's, that's just, um, you know, um, it's also available in, 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 in rands. And, and in US dollars, so we, we've just divided it to make it easier. So you can say, I want to read it in the local currency or in the, the USD um, uh, currency. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about a little bit about publishing in South Africa. I mean, what is the state of publishing in South Africa or state of music publishing specifically in South Africa at the moment? Well, what we can tell from the report and, and what we know already is that it is quite a thriving um, uh, market. Um, I think South Africa um, is actually the strongest on, on the continent and accounts for more than half of the revenues that are collected across the continent. So it is quite a thriving um, space. However, there are quite a lot of challenges. And these challenges uh, range from, you know, artists not really understanding, um, you know, their role in this in this very complicated space. Um, so we still have a situation where an industry is 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 growing, but as we can see from this study, um, not all the revenues are being collected, and that's something that we hope um, together we can educate artists. Actually, that's also one of the key findings from this study that artists are saying we would like to learn more about you know, music rights, they don't understand that space. Um, and unfortunately, it's, a, it's an industry where artists have to register with the CMOs, they have to submit their music, and it's done in a very particular mm. way. And, and, and that's why we need, um, you, know, you know, studies such as these to help us see where we are and gauge the kind of support that we need to be providing to our music creators. All right, Eddie, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, good luck with the work that you do. Um, Eddie Hakike, uh, the Music in Africa Foundation Director, uh, speaking to us about the foundation's revenue streams uh, for music creators in South Africa report. He was just unpacking that for us. So if you're a musician, take a look at that report and find ways of making revenue uh, for yourself. All right, just gone 8 o'clock. Time for the main news bulletin. A very good morning to you.